Hey guys, what's going on? Just drove a really windy road to this scenic, beautiful place where you can see the Golden State Bridge, uh, downtown San Francisco, and Alcatraz. I've been to these places like when I was younger, but I don't really remember it crystal clear. And seeing it again makes me realize like this place is really cool actually. We were trying to get here before uh, the sunrise so we could actually watch the sunrise, but we got here a little later. So we're walking up the stairs to the scenic view. Take some pictures and just check out the beautiful view. It's my first time in San Francisco. seen uh, Santa Cruz this is how it looks uh, we realized it's kind of a lonely town as we were driving here we were driving on highway 1 and we had no reception until we got literally like into Santa Cruz so I'm excited let's go to the boardwalk let's do it <coughs> is it nice yeah. I'm gonna get a Instagram story. Oh my god. The beach is so calm here. Yeah. That's so cute. So we out here in Santa Cruz on the wharf. It's so pretty. We want to go to the boardwalk and catch the sunset. So we're probably going to go over there. Probably walk that. The actual amusement park is closed, but you can still walk around and catch a scene, you know? Yeah. You want to go? Yeah, let's go. There's like an amusement park, but it's only open on the weekends. Today is Monday, so we're not going to be here for that, but that's okay. We honestly weren't really trying to like spend money on rides. I used to ride so many, so like I'm kind of, kind of, I'm kind of good on that. Are you good on that? Yeah, on definitely. I mean, I kind of just like the aesthetic of this yeah. whole place, you know, it's kind of cool. Yeah, it's so cute. It's, uh, it's prettier than the fair, the Texas fair. That's yeah, cool. it's very vintage, old yeah, school. and you got the view. Like the beach and like yeah. the, the weather. Yeah, it's, it's, it's nice. What's up, you guys? So we're on our way to Pfeiffer Beach, and uh, we were just looking at the views, and we saw this little pullout, and we really wanted to show you guys. So it's going out here. So personally, I think this is one of the most beautiful places I've ever seen just because I really like the ocean and I really enjoy like watching the waves clash on these sort of rocks and you don't really get that like in a lake and that's where we've been going lately. Mm -hmm. But this is kind of like the feel that like, this is what I like. It's so pretty. And then you can just see the mountains in the back. So this is Big Sur. Um, I don't know what pull up this is. It's not too far from the from Pfeiffer Beach. I would say maybe like 30 minutes. Um, but yeah. So here we are. We took y'all along with us on this little pull out, and we're gonna take you guys to Pfeiffer Beach so y'all can see that. Let's go. I love how there's just trees everywhere. Like even when you're on the freeway or on the highway, you get like trees going like overgrowing 
the structure. <laughs> yeah. I think it's so cool. All right, guys. So we're here. Look at this beauty. It's over there. Let's go check it out. Oh, it's a little chilly though. There's a wind. Yeah, it is definitely chilly. Okay, they said today is one of those windier days, but she said it's so beautiful. That means there's lots of waves though. That's good. <laughs> We got Lotus a little backpack. It's so cute. We have our little bowl there for water and uh, plastic bags for her little pool if she goes. And uh, wow, the sand here is amazing. By the way, we're wearing glasses because they said they recommended it since there's a lot of sand blowing around because it's so windy. So yeah, we're wearing glasses. Ooh, wow. I'm wearing like these kaleidoscope glasses. But we didn't have another pair of glasses since we don't really We don't use glasses. Use shades like that. Yeah. But it'll help just in case it starts getting really windy. Yeah, for sure. Look at her, she's so cute. She's just looking out. <laughs> Let's go into the water. It's so wow. Does it? Yeah. <laughs> this is so funny. Like, I can't believe we brought these out because we don't have glasses. <laughs> yeah. But we have this. <laughs> Basically tripping on the beach. Oh my gosh. I'm covering the microphone so that way hopefully you guys can hear us. Um, I really like this beach. It's really nice. Uh, it's probably nicer in the summer when you know, the weather is really nice. You know, you just sunbathe uh, and uh, we really were hoping there was going to be clear skies because there's a tunnel and when the light shines through as the sun's setting apparently it looks so beautiful and like we saw in pictures and like I just saw the sunset and I thought it was amazing but uh, no it's like really cloudy let me show you guys And then there's like blue skies that way and that's where we're headed after this. So at least we're not going to be um, stuck in rain. Lotus is so cold. She's like trying to like cover, at least we like have her really nicely covered up on the, on the, <laughs> on the top, but she's pretty cold. So she's just sitting down. Did you have a really good time, baby? Did you have a really good time? You ready to go home? You ready to go home and eat some treats? little baby girl drinking water with a view ah that is so cute little baby was little girl getting hydrated with the best you know she only drinks conga water <laughs> like us Usually when she drinks other normal water, she'll like give it a couple licks and she'll like, okay, I can wait till we get home. Yeah. Whatever. <laughs> we're leaving Pfeiffer Lake and we're heading to Yosemite. We'll see you guys at Yosemite. Say goodbye to this beautiful view, this beautiful beach. Hello, you're so beautiful. Yes, you are. Hi. What's your name? I was talking to them. I was talking to them. Yeah, you were communicating. <laughs> <laughs> they were saying it back. So Good morning, guys. So last night we came here and we parked at in the National Forest and uh, close to Yosemite. This is the camping spot we got. It's really nice. We found it on iOverlander. Um, no one has driven driven through here at, at all. At least I don't. Not we that I, not that we've seen. We were coming out here. <laughs> yeah. So um, we just woke up. About to put the tent away and head out. Uh, we let Lotus run free for a little bit. Have her pee pee poo poo. But she got super cold. So she's in here waiting for us to be done and. 
Yeah. Yeah, it's honestly, it's cold out here. Uh, I think I saw, yeah, there's still a little snow over there, <laughs> like on the tree. Wow. So you can tell it doesn't get much warmer than freezing. Oh my over gosh. Here. It's so cold. We're about to go to Yosemite in a little bit, so we'll see you guys there. I put my hair up because since I am, I did start my freeform dread journey, I keep it in a bun and also gets super tangled uh, when I go to sleep. Rafael, this is how his hair is looking. All right, guys, so we're going Wawana, Glacier Point, um, Bridalville Falls, because those are the only trails that allow dogs. So we're gonna do that. We're going to respect the rules. And yeah, now bring dogs and trails that where they're not allowed. There's no one here. It's so empty. It's so cold to be out here. People that live out here usually only come out during the summer. So during the summer, this place is loaded everywhere. Yeah. Okay. Right now it's like en entirely empty. Like, look at this. There's no one. All right, guys. So we're on the trail to the Bridalville Fall. And supposedly it's a little more dried up at this time. But we're still going to show y'all what it looks like. Yeah, the trail appears a little steep, but it's really easy. And it's really short, too. Yeah. Let's see. Wow. It's so pretty. The little girl, too. She's so happy. <sighs> wow, what do you think? I like it. I think I think it would look cooler during the summer, but it's still pretty cool. Here. Yeah, it's still pretty. And then I like how the sun over there just reflects off the boulders so nicely. We are at the tunnel view right now. I'm gonna show you guys how it looks. It looks super pretty. Hey guys, so we are at the hostel. It's the next morning. We did not record yesterday, but uh, cause it was dark. But um, yeah, we just checked out of our room so we can't show y'all how the rooms look. It's basically just a big room with uh, like 14 beds in it, bunk beds and like two separate little rooms. And uh, there's there was two bathrooms in there, I believe. Pretty much, um, I'm gonna show you guys around. This place is really nice. They have a lot of uh, stuff going on at night. But apparently right now, since it's fall, it's really slow, um, which is good for us because uh, we are not sure if we're going to check back in tonight. So it didn't, we, don't, we don't really have to worry about like not having any like rooms to stay, uh, to stay in for the night. So yeah, we're checking out. Apparently in the summer, it's like really busy though. So you do have to like do reservation and like be on that. But yeah, because it is slower, it's not as fun here because there's not that many people so there's not that many that much socializing um yeah but yeah i'm gonna show you guys around breakfast is from 8 a.m to 11 a.m there's coffee water and then um, soy milk almond milk communal kitchen area they got pots pans they got everything you really need to cook and you also have a fridge that you can use even have like a little working out area which I think is really cool um, but yeah that's pretty much it uh, this place is definitely a really good find um, 
Staying here for one night is like $23 if you choose a 14 bedroom, which we had no problems with. But they also offer like a six bedroom for, I think it's like $10 more for the night, which isn't too bad. But I mean, it doesn't really matter. I feel like, I don't know. It kind of just feels like there's only six bedrooms in there since they're separated into two. And you just like walk into the other room. So yeah, um, we stayed here for one night, paid about $56 for the both of us and uh, Lotus was allowed and so yeah now we're headed to all the different places in LA so we'll take you guys around there. This place definitely seems like a really fun place in the summer because they even have like like I showed y'all all the sunbathing spots and like just chill spots and they also have like a little party room I'm gonna take you guys in there and show y'all. They also have washers and, wa and dryers but they're only um, open from 4 p.m. to 7 a.m. And they're a dollar fifty each. We got some vending machines with essentials, snacks, and this is the room. So this right here is like the little party room. They usually have like events here at night. They have karaoke here, which I think is really cool. And I mean, at night yesterday, people were just watching TV. They were watching Rick and Morty, SpongeBob and yeah just different things uh i also want to show you guys that they have like a pool table and like a little game room so they have computers to use a pool table but i think you have to pay for this one this is free or maybe not i just don't know i didn't figure it out quarters only i think yeah and then a ping pong table so yeah pretty much it Ready to go? I'm ready. Ikea. Where are we going next? Ah, uh, the park, right? Yeah. Okay, so we can either go to Griffith Park first, or the uh, or the Hollywood Park, Hollywood mm. Lake Park, to which go was, take pictures which was with closer. the sign. They're both like right beside each other. Oh. We can go to the Lake Hollywood one first. Okay. All right. Let's just see which one's closer. Downtown LA, I believe. There's another downtown over there, but I don't know what that is. Yeah, let's go <laughs> check that out, because that's weird. I didn't know there was like two. I don't know, in Dallas there's only like skyscrapers in one little, little spot, but it looks like there's two over here. So I don't know, maybe this is downtown LA, and maybe or maybe that is downtown LA. What's up guys, we're at a place called Z Pizza. Uh, honestly, the prices were pretty good compared to a lot of other places that we've been to. But we, we ended up ordering the California roasted veggie. And all we did was substitute the cheese for the vegan cheese. But it's yeah. Daya, right? Mm -hmm. That's okay. Yeah, so this is what it looks like. You wanna try it? Cows of cows. Oh, I like how it's a little flaky. Yeah. I like it more than the Whole Foods one. Yeah? It has better bread. Oh, mm -hmm. good. The Whole Foods bread was kind of like, eh. Yeah. But it wasn't too bad, but... No, it's good. It's, it's really good. good. I like how the bread is thin. <laughs> Alright. Alright, so what do you think? The crust is definitely really good. I'm gonna get another slice.
Where we at right now? SD San Diego. Slow down, come on. <laughs> This is so cool. The white sands. Come on, Lotus, let's go. Oh. Lotus is like, ooh, there's some soft sand. Can you go? Go, Lotus! <laughs> she, it's so pretty. Let's go, 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 go. <laughs> to the top, to the top. Go. Oh, holy shit, it's getting all up in your ankles, bro. <laughs> oh, bro. Oh, my God. Oh, wow. <laughs> it's worth it though, right? Yeah. <laughs> oh my. Let's walk that way. Wow. Wow, the ground. I thought it was going to be soft, but it's pretty solidified. Yeah. <sighs> the grooves. Like, where are we? This is so yeah. awesome. <laughs> She's just looking around. Do it again, do it again. She's actually jumping with you. <laughs> it's so beautiful here. And it's also really cold right now. And very windy. It's actually not as bad as it was earlier. We came here in the morning and we slept. We parked and we slept. And we woke up just before sunset to look at the over here luckily the wind had calmed down because it was really bad earlier